Okay, for the next example, let's consider this uh, survey. A survey of 540 people is conducted, and it is found that 35% of these people want to improve their cardiovascular capacity, 55% want to lose weight, and 70% either want to improve their cardiovascular capacity or lose weight. Okay, so again, this keyword or here, this clues us in that we're going to need to look at the union. Okay, and an experiment will consist of selecting one of these people at random. We want to find the probability that the person wants to take both measures to improve health. Okay, so again, first I'm going to start by writing a let statement. Let C be the event that the person wants to improve cardiovascular capacity and W be the event that the person wants to lose weight. Okay, and then so from the information that's given, the probability of C is 35%. And the probability of W is 55%. Okay, we already agreed that this word or here, this word or here refers to the union of these two events. And so that gives us Another probability, probability of the union of these two events, C union W is 70%. And now we're asked to find the probability that the person wants to take both measures to improve health. Okay, both uh, the one or the uh, and the other, that indicates intersection. Okay, so we know that those four quantities relate to each other. So all we have to do is substitute into our formula probability of C union W is equal to the probability of C plus the probability of W minus the probability of C intersect W. Okay, so all I need to do then, just substitute in the numbers. 70% is equal to 55%. Uh, sorry, that should be 35% there. For probability of C. And then plus 55% probability of W. And then minus the probability of C intersect W, which is what we're looking for. Well, 35 plus 55 is 90 percent, so that's 90 percent minus the probability of C intersect W, and therefore probability of C intersect W must be 20 percent. 